Hey guys, what's going on? Dusty here from All Arm Performance doing a sweet walkthrough video on a new unit we have in stock here. Today we have got a SSR Bison 500. This machine is new to us. What's really nice about this machine is it is a bench seat machine. It does have a dumping box on the back. It does. It is a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive model with locking front differential and unlocking rear differential for turf lock mode. Today we're gonna go through this machine. I'm gonna show you all the features, all the buttons. I'm gonna show you all the accessories that it comes with. It's gonna be a pretty sweet video. So it's gonna be long, but it's gonna be worth it. So I appreciate you guys watching, but uh, come on in, let's start walking through some stuff. This machine starts right off where it comes with aluminum wheels. These tires are gonna be set up on 14 inch wheels. It's equipped with a 3,500 pound winch that you can control from inside the dash. It does have a releasing mechanism on the side of it so that you can pull it out. It is equipped with adjustable gas shocks. All four wheels have got piggyback gas shocks that are adjustable for compression and rebound. Let's just keep going all the way around this machine. You'll notice right here, you got these real nice LED running lights with turning signals and headlights. This machine does have four ways, does have turning signals, high beam, low beam, and running lights. It does come equipped with a hard top, comes equipped with mirrors, as you work your way around here, just working on the outside of the machine right now. The machine does have real nice hand grab handles here for the passenger and for the driver. <clears throat> the passenger does have a grab handle here for a little bit of extra support while they're riding along. The machine does have a real nice gas tank. Unsure of the size of it right now, I'll put that in the description below. Uh, metal gas cap. The dump bed is a electric dump. You do notice, I will show you that, that this machine does have a push button for the dump. It actually goes pretty steep. You take a look at the photos on our website, you'll see how steep this goes. I will raise this up and down for you guys in a little bit. As you work your way around the back of the machine, you might want to get us a little bit closer. I'm going to show you a couple things back here. The bed does have a real nice sturdy poly dump gate on it. You notice this tail, the latch here is like a door latch, real strong apparatus compared to a lot of flip levers some of our machines have. The door latch tends to be a little bit stronger, a little bit more bulletproof, less stuff to catch. The bed itself is poly. It is equipped with all sorts of different holes for accessories and stuff like that. Does already have the metal tie downs in it. Not a lot of our beds come with this. That's what's super nice about this machine is it does have the metal tie downs already. Now underneath the machine towards the back, it's already set up with a two inch receiver. You know, I put this in here so that you can see that it comes with a real nice deep two inch receiver. It is already equipped with this trailer plug. So that way, if you wanna pull some sort of trailer brakes, trailers along those lines, you notice it's got a lot of accessory hookups there. That's a cool feature. So I'm actually gonna have you go right around here and get inside the cab. And I'm gonna show you a few things in here. So inside the cab, if we look up first, it does come with a center mirror. Obviously the two side mirrors. Does have real nice foam head headrests in case you decide to get into some rough terrain, your head or your helmet is gonna hit this pad. Nice comfortable bench seat with a recessed seat for comfort on the rear and also on the bottom. Does have a fold down center console that has built in magnets. Two cup holders and a place for you to put your phone. As mentioned, you notice these two magnets right here. It sticks to this metal bar. That way it stays up and out of your way. As you look inside, as you look inside, we'll work our way across. It's got a real nice large, large glove compartment here inside the glove compartment. It does come with a tool bag and an owner's manual. If I take this stuff out, you can see how deep that box is. You wake your way across. It's also got another built-in deep place here with a catch on the front. You can put all sorts of accessories in here. As we work our way across, it does come equipped with a 12 volt cigarette lighter. Old school terminology, I think that's funny. This machine does have your four-way your four-way hazards. This right here is gonna be a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive diff lock for the front. So this is your two-wheel drive, your four-wheel drive, and then your four-wheel drive front differential lock. Now this machine is also equipped with a turf mode. You'll notice right here, it says rear differential. Right here, this is gonna be in unlocked mode, which means this machine is only driven by one wheel. So when it's in unlocked mode, your differential in the back is unlocked and it will be really, really easy on the gas. Uh, as you're gonna guess, that happened. It's gonna be really easy on the grass. 
So super cool features, not a lot of machines come with that. Right here on the, on the dash, you'll notice here that the shifter is set up real nice. I did notice that this machine shifts really easy. A lot of our machines don't shift as easy as this one does. It does have low and high gear for getting you at high rates of speed down the road. It also has low gear for your pull, for your work in reverse. Notice down here below this key, it does have this button. You pull this lever up and it does have tilt wheel for comfort. So depending on if you have a lot of leg space or if you just want to get it closer to your lap, you can pull this lever in. Full digital dash, I'll show that on another video. The full digital dash is just like a car. It shows you what gear you're in. It shows you what if what four wheel drive, two wheel drive, diff lock, shows you your fuel, shows your temperature, tells you everything you need to know just like a vehicle. You notice here, it's got these vents. These vents here are controllable. You can turn the air off. You can also change them up and down. This machine is built in with a heater. I'm actually gonna have you come around to the other side of the machine here. I'm gonna switch sides with you guys. Take your time, this is what makes the video cool. And this machine right here does have a built-in heater. This basically right here is set up with fan on and off. Not a lot of people knew that it come with a heater. This machine comes with a heater. This right here is gonna be your running light. So it just got running lights and headlights on and off. High beam, low beam, and your turning signals. Down here on the bottom, this right here is where you're gonna control your winch in and out. And this right here, super cool feature. This is gonna be where the dump bed is. Don't mind me, we turn off all my four-way signals. You never know which one of these buttons is on. Ha <laughs> ha So you do notice that this does have an electric dump on it. It's a little bit slower, but the, it can lift quite a bit. It can lift quite a bit. So even though it is slower, it does go to a pretty steep dump angle. Not a lot of our machines have a dump angle this steep. I say it a lot. I'm really surprised with the features on this machine. It does go pretty steep. You look at the photos on this machine on our website, you'll actually see how far this dump can actually go. We're almost there. Just got to wait for it. Just keeps going. All right, there it is. So right there, really cool feature for those of you who don't have really good shoulders and arms to be able to lift the box. That's a super, super sweet feature. So that's pretty much it as a nutshell. The machine does have a little bit more stuff. Let's as we keep talking, let's go underneath the seat and let's see what we can find under here. Machine does, the seats do lift up in the front. And when you pull the seat down, you'll find where you'll find there's all sorts of storage on your side. This right here is going to be a nice deep dump box, a box that you can put your rope, your straps, your cables. You can put extra clothes in there. Air filter is located right here. You can access that from the front. You remove this cover. This is how you access your air filter. This is your throttle body, not normally something that's interesting. On this side, you do have a belt housing. What's nice about the belt housing is built inside of the belt housing is it actually has a CVT clutch that actually goes in and hits the belt. It makes it really, really smooth power, smooth shifting. Some of these larger machines, they require going to a heavier duty clutch where a lot of our smaller machines are oil bathed inside the engine. This belt, this machine is gonna be really easy on belts. It's gonna be a lot more powerful that way. Obviously a metal gas tank. Wanted to compliment on something here that the that the seatbelt does have a speed limiter on it. If your seatbelt is not on, it will only go up to five miles an hour. So make sure that when you're using a machine, your seatbelt is always on to make sure that it doesn't hit that limiter. Wanted to show you up here in the front, this machine is equipped with a hood. There's a latch inside the, the compartment here. If you lift up this hood underneath here, it does have a latch. You'll notice right here, it does have a kick latch, just like a just like your old school car, it's got a hood. And here's where you're gonna find your batteries. It's gonna find your fuses, your relays, your starter solenoid, all your relays. You notice this thing right here is unplugged for those of you that can't stand the reverse beeper. First thing I unhooked when I got in this thing is a reverse beeper. Overflow bottle, your brake reservoir. This is where you're gonna check your brake fluid. This is where you're gonna check your radiator fluid and obviously your radiator cap. We're not gonna open this right now because it is hot. The battery is undersized in this machine, so that in case if you decide to add more accessories, you can put a larger battery in it. And then right here underneath this cover, you push this pin in, you push this lever in, you lift this up, and this right here is where all your fuses and all your relays are. If you ever find that you have a problem in your machine, your problem is probably going to be right in here. That pretty much sums up our walkthrough here today. Pretty nice machine, pretty set up. I do know that the windshield is optional. I do know that right now we are working with KFI for a snowplow setup. So snowplows are available. 
windshields are available. Also, there is a full cab kit for this machine. I don't have one in stock yet. I actually sold it. I don't have one in stock. So think about full cab kit. Think about the heater kit. Think about the snowplow kit. One machine that does all. Super nice machine. If you guys have any questions on this machine, check out the website. Feel free to give us a call. Love to talk to you guys about this machine. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again.